Hello, I hope this finds you and you as well. Just near the start of lockdown, probably just a week into lockdown, I bought myself a new watch. It was an all singing and all dancing watch for me. My son, you see, had got a new watch with a phone contract that he has, and it was truly an all singing, all dancing phone uh, uh, watch and it was connected to his phone contract. I don't really have such an all singing, all dancing watch, but for me, I bought this online and it was relatively cheap, I suppose, but it tells me the time. It's got different faces that you can put up. It tells me my, my number of steps that I do a day, never match the target that I set. It tells me blood pressure, heart rate. It tells me it can do my messages that people send me on my phone. It can tell me that I've got messages. It tells me how many hours I get of sleep a night and all sorts of bits and pieces. So for me, it was an all singing, all dancing, fine watch. And it was relatively comfortable. And I was quite pleased with it. And it wasn't as fancy as my son's, but then it's probably worth 10 times less in value than his. It lasted two weeks. Something happened after two weeks of using it. Time went all wrong. And in old watches, you have buttons on the side that you change the time and it works okay. But on these watches, you don't. You use your mobile phone to make any alterations. I tried and tried and tried and couldn't work it. I got to the desperation point that I actually asked my son if he would help me. And he couldn't work it out either. We both uh, decided that there was a breakdown in the link between the watch and the phone. It was quite frustrating. I put it aside. And every so often I would tinker it until one time I gave it a batter on my desk. I went back to the times in the old TVs when the TVs used to not work. You gave them a, back on the, a bash on the top or the side and something worked. And I thought, maybe the Bluetooth or whatever it is in here isn't properly connected. So me giving it a wee bash will make it work. It didn't. So the watch sat at the side of my desk for oh, at least three or four months. I had thought about sending it back, thinking it was broken, but it was to go to China and to be honest with you, I got my old watch out that still worked and used that. That was until last Friday. And I'm ashamed to say this, but I was a wee bit bored at one point doing something and I wanted a change and I saw the watch in the corner and dug it out and started playing with it and playing with my phone. And it started to work. The problem all along hadn't been the watch. It had been a setting that I'd changed on my phone. Some sort of setting that I'm still not 100% sure what I did, but it's working perfectly. The moral of the story is sometimes things break down because we don't communicate properly. In my case, it was the watch and the phone weren't communicating, so the phone didn't work. How many times do things break down because we don't communicate with one another? Like me, I had to go and search right to the root of it. It wasn't enough to shout at it. It wasn't enough to give it a batter on a desk. It was going right back to the root of the problem found on the phone. It often takes a bit of work to find the root of the problem. But it's worth it. Because, hey, I've got a fancy new watch. Let's hope it lasts for more than two weeks. May the God of peace be with you. May his face shine upon you. And take care of yourself. And in your own way, take care of others. And thanks once again for watching. Bye-bye.